All right, guys. So this is the electric, not sorry, not electric, electric XP light. Um, it runs up to 45 miles on a single charge on flat ground, of course. Um, it does have difficulty going up hills. Uh, it is very light and compact. Uh, five levels of pedal assist. It has cruise control. Um, it actually has a walk assist, which I think is pretty cool. So if you do find a hill that you're, you know, too lazy to pedal up and it's just not really helping you, um, you know, you can set that walk assist at uh, three miles per hour and then you don't even really got to push it, just walk beside it. Um, up to 20 miles per hour with uh, pedal assist and 15 miles per hour with throttle only. So it is honestly pretty slow. Uh, and a six hour charge time. That being said, it is built. It is built really nicely, like for the price. Uh, I want to say these are about $900 right now. Um, so for the price, I would say very, very good e-bike. Um, it has a 720 watt motor, uh, peak watt motor. Um, it does have keys, which I believe I will be showing you in this video shortly if I haven't already. Uh, as you can see right now, the phone holder, which is pretty nice. Um, there's the throttle. Uh, the speedometer right there uh, actually does work. Uh, I don't turn it on in this video because this is not my bike. Um, so I do want to point out you guys probably won't see this bike on the channel ever again, but I do know enough about it and have enough experience, experience with it to give you guys a review. Um, the battery is in the frame and it is foldable like I said, so you, you open that and then you can see the battery. Um, oh, and here's the keys like I was saying. Uh, the battery is a 48 volt and 7.8 AH. Um, it's water resistant, but not waterproof. So keep that in mind. Let's see. Um, you can charge it without removing the battery. So that's nice. Um, it does have disc brakes in, you know, all around front and back. Uh, uh, has a very nice headlight and it comes with all of this that I've been mentioning so far. Um, there is like a cargo package you can get for, I'm going to be honest, I can't remember. Um, it's semi expensive more than what I would want to pay, but it is a pretty nice little cargo package. Um, it comes with a, like a little back rack and stuff. Um, oh, and the tires are 20 inch tires. They're spoked, obviously. Um, this being the cheapest version, it pretty much has no suspension. Um, there's no mid suspension, there's no front fork suspension, so um, any bumps and stuff all has to be absorbed just through the tires. Um, that being said, it's not too bad. Um, I don't think you want to be going down like any crazy like trails, but um, old back gravel roads and stuff, it, it does fine. I don't know. I guess that's pretty much it for this review. That I, I kind of had everything down in notes and I didn't have to have my thoughts scraped out of my head. Um, like I said, you probably won't be seeing it on the channel again. Uh, you definitely won't be seeing me ride it. Uh, but it is, it's a pretty nice bike. I would say if you guys are looking for a cheap e-bike, this would be a good starter option. Um, I'm personally looking at the 2.0 right now, maybe getting that. Uh, but I don't know. The electrics are just... The really nice bikes are just kind of too slow, in my opinion. But, alright guys, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions about this bike that I didn't mention in the video, um, mention it in a comment, and I will do my best to get back with you as soon as possible. And thank you for watching.